Yo guys, Carman now back with another video and today, as you can tell by the title of the video we're going to be doing a few things to the X5 just to help it, you know, improve cosmetically uh, just the small details that will make the biggest difference so, at the moment, I'm just sitting in the car uh, currently got my guy Jordan, who's our detailer he's working on the X5's headlights because obviously you guys have seen before they are musty and yellow and just clapped uh, which obviously happens with old cars. So if I just show you what they look like now So this is what they've been looking like. He's been working on them. They're pretty much done Just a few final finishing touches, but they look crystal clear now Proper nice. Obviously just some residue left over from um, the thing. But as you can see Looks proper nice now Because before one thing that was bugging me about this car was the headlights were just so crusty you could you could get it clean so nice but then the headlights would ruin it so now they're looking fantastic so that's great i'll throw up some before pictures now so you can just see so as you can see from the pictures they were looking hella ugly see jordan's just working on it now so We've sorted out the headlights. Now, there is another thing that I'd like to do. Uh, that's still focusing on the front end, and that is the BMW badge. So, as you guys may be aware or not, uh, our BMW badge at the moment is looking a bit knackered. This is obviously very common on these kind of cars. Um, I guess just over the years, you know, uh, the weather just corrodes the badge and just basically take, especially with, you know, when you take it to car washes, high pressure wash uh, it just strips the paint off the badge so uh, what I've actually got for today are some of these so we've got a couple flathead screwdrivers um, but first we're going to use some of this Tesco dental floss which is fucking shit mate so if anyone from Tesco is watching this someone improved this because I swear even if you use it on your teeth it just rips apart which is not the whole point of dental floss it's meant to stay intact but anyway if that doesn't work we've got two flat heads and then uh, we've got these pliers to basically put out the rubber grommets that you'll see and um, we've also got the badge here looking nice and fresh let's just compare this one to the badge wow big difference so it's the little things that uh, will make the bigger differences um as you'll see from today's video so yeah let's just crack on with it and uh let's just start by using the the floss so obviously got uh some nice dental floss full of good amount obviously this, don't take this as a tutorial guys i'm as much as an amateur as you guys so but even right now i don't even have to get under the bloody badge how do we get this one under the badge you clean fucking hell mate I think it's just better to use the fucking other method, mate. Like. Yeah, mate. Floss didn't work, so we're just gonna use a flathead. Even yeah. this is quite difficult, I'll be real. Uh, hang on. Do, do, do. How did these men do it, bro? It's too thick. I don't know. Oh, there's some movement there. Is it moving? Okay, so I managed to get underneath at least. I don't want to break the, the flathead as well. The flathead will break. Can you just slide it? You, should, you could try the flush though. Because basically, okay, yeah, so hang on. Mm. Yeah, you just got it in. No, I know, but it's just okay. Oop, yeah, see, do you see how shit this floss is? See, look, just that's on. why you don't use Tesco for. And so, look, even this bit barely came off. That's not nice. Jesus, mate. 
That's what's uh, that's what's under your beam. This I don't even know if this is a genuine badge, you know. Nah, this is the original badge. Nah, it's... should have come off that easily. Nah, but it's over the years, isn't it? Obviously, it's just old, and as the car gets old, just dirt and stuff progresses, isn't it? Let's try another piece of force. Let's seem to do something. You mean double layer. What do you mean double layer? Like double thread. So if this is actually good floss, it wouldn't rip. But obviously, this one's ripping. So what can we do? Come on, mate. Do it through the wrong way. Shut up through here. Hang on, mate. Hang on, mate. For that one. Okay. And just weave it through. See this terminology as well. Weave it through. This is literally just getting all the dirt out of the way. Well, to be fair, okay, yeah, this is it. I think I love a flathead. Yeah, yeah, five seconds, yeah. Well, that's just uh, ripped through the cloth. So, for our full microfiber. But at least, look, the top bit is loose. So, ideally, you'd want to get it through the so just, I'll just make sure that bit's right. mm. This one is proving quite difficult. You have a double layer now, so... Yeah, but double layers sticking it. That's the problem. That's the problem, they don't tell you. Use one layer. Well, let's wait, do you think a bigger flathead? Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. It's already, I think that's gonna make quite a big difference. Yeah, look. Yeah. Obviously, over the years, these badges can get very stubborn. But look, you've popped one side, so now you just come over and do. Don't know. Then maybe you've just pulled it off. No, but you've got it popped up. Oh, wow. And yeah, look. Wow. So, that's the old badge, two clips holding it in. So these are basically the two things, and we've got to pull these uh, plastic. See the dirtiness? Yeah. So obviously, yeah. we're going to clean that, don't worry. That's what we've got a cloth for. But you see these, these are plastic, and the ones they've given me, they're rubber. So I don't know, but anyway, Maybe rubber, we're going to get some pliers. So now, just... Obviously, this paint don't matter, because it's going to be under the badge. If I can fucking get it out. This is why you get good flies instead of shit man. Did it come out by the hand? No? It'll never come off the hand. Wow. Of course it's being a bastard to come out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. It's fine battle scars. Just put it back in now. I do the way. Shut up, mate. Maybe yeah, it's a good idea to just do that, yeah. Okay. And not carry it. It's very obviously very professional. Why are you doing it from the bottom? Still carry on doing it from the top. Bro. Okay, wait, I've got an idea. Because obviously you don't want to damage the holders as well. Oh, it's how the hell is the other badge in it? Oh, these flies are so shit. Oh, that's dirt. That's dirt. Oh. I can see why. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't help because look, these blood, these pies are bloody bent. You need more sharp ones. I think you need a life, mate. <laughs> Please. Come on. I can feel it coming loose. -ish. This is like glued on. I can see glue residue. guys like i said this ain't a tutorial because bloody hell if it was it would take five years mike right, so finally bloody took ages just for these bloody rubber grommets or whatever you want to call it to come up anyway so you can see now both holes are off dashed that up old badges there uh so what's left now what we're gonna do now is just wash obviously all this crap off uh, I've got a pot of water in the car. We don't need these. Alright, so let's just see how much stuff. dirt will become loose with lardy hell. Yeah. You just have a safety drive out of this. Yeah, it's quite a lot. It's like bloody sandpaper, mate. Yeah, you can see it's all bloody dirty. Yeah, that's what you're going to do now. Yeah, you can make water. Shall we do water or alcohol, actually? Water first. Water first, so. Alright. I'll we'll wet the cloth instead of wetting the area because yeah, yeah. obviously we've got these holes. We don't know we don't want no rust. You know what I mean? Wow, look at that. Seal it bang and the dirt is gone. Who would have thought, right? This one looks like it's going to tip down as well. But anyway, look, so look, that miles massive difference. Oh now that's clean. Let's get the new batch. Alright, so this is you see sound packaging. Fresh from eBay. Look, I'll be honest, I'm not really impressed with this badge. It's already got a mark on it. So, we've got to put these like plasticky rubber grommets in here. I guess they're, they're yeah. more soft. Yeah, they're a lot more soft. Yeah. So, this should go easily. I'm not that convinced. Um, actually, wait, no, no, you're meant to put it on this first, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that would be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyway. So, wait, let me just actually compare for the viewers. Yeah. This was the original backing. Um, as you can see, it's metal. Well, it's got at least got a metal finish, and it's got these like different kind of studs. Um, whereas this one is plastic, and it's got these uh, longer. These are longer, but obviously they're made of plastic as well. Um, in terms of what's better, I don't really know to be fair. These uh, should be better, even though these are longer. They they have a chance of breaking if you take it yeah, off again. True. Yeah, that's true. But let's just hope these will just stay on. Alright, so I was just gonna actually no wait, bigger end, sorry. I'm just gonna place that on there. That seems secure. It's not meant to go all the way down, yeah, yeah, so uh, let's get the second one on. Uh, and yeah, so then this is just not on. It's got a protective cover. Uh should we take that off? No, we, we put it on and then we Ah cool. And then you should line it up like so. Go in place, please. Oh, so this is why That's the, like the, the, rubble one, the rubber ones are a bit shit. Anyway, hmm. I think you have to put the rubbers in first. So obviously I was having issues putting the rubber grommets on there, so I'm gonna just put it inside like so. Um, I can't believe putting on a fucking badge is taking this long. Jesus Christ, can you believe that, Asif? No, mate, mate I can't believe this. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, they should be on this left. So really. Wow, well, it's a beautiful badge. Just, it's a beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, this one. Let's just hope it bloody lasts. And then inshallah. Just, just like inshallah, and then we just line it up. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, wow, I hit the clicks. I still feel like that's too loose. No, that's fine. I think that's fine. I think some glue would help. Maybe. Mm, yeah, 
I don't know. I'm not too convinced. I don't like these cheap badges. Okay, stop tapping it, mate. The water is just going to get under. Oh, this one come off. Uh, so as you can see, fucking uh, eBay badges, uh, this bit snapped off uh, when we tried taking it out because when I put it on, it was still a loose fitment. So I'm just going to apply <clears> super glue around the edges and maybe around the rivets. So I put some in the centre as well. Yeah, the centre is um, off balance. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, so before I apply the glue, I'm just going to peel this off. Yeah. Uh, I was meant to do it after. Oh, wow. wow, so this shiny. Is, what is Why is it brand new one? Go? Yeah, brand new. Oh. Brand new. Why broken? Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna so what apply some around the river area? Yeah, yes, yes. So I apply a dot there, and then I'll do like a trail. This one's called artwork. Because I don't want it to go onto the paint. This yeah. one's a very good one. Okay, now hold this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. This one's cute one. Wow. Oh. This one is PG friendly. Family friendly. Wow. And then. Why well, bring your finger there? You're gonna get it. Oh, we don't even know how the center is gonna be. It is. Let's push it on the left first. It doesn't have to look nice, okay? Put it down. Then hold five it down. Five second rule. Five second rule, yeah. Five second rule, yeah. Five second rule, yeah. Oh, you look crazy, mate. I'm gonna insert that meme if I find it. This better be worth it, yeah? My cameraman bloody broke the thing, you know? Cameraman, what is this? This, was, this was not part of the plan. Who is behind camera? We don't know, mystery man. Wow. Oh, tried busted. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold it like this for 30 seconds. Um, like I said, guys, this is definitely not a tutorial, and you can see why. All right, so new badges on, super glued on, uh, and that was the old badge. So you can see massive difference. Uh, so that's obviously front end wise. We've done headlights, we've done blue light badge. Uh, so what? Are we also going to do in this video? Well, let's find out. So another thing that I want to sort in today's video is uh, this tail light bulb uh, slash section. See, it actually does work. It is on. I don't know if you can turn the camera. I'll put up like a night video now. But essentially, you can see that there's a difference. Um, there's a difference between the left side and the right side. The left side is brighter. Now, apparently that's because I bought the wrong bulb for the left side. But I think, personally, the left side looks better. And, you know, even when you break, so break now, please. Yeah, so look, the left side still works as normal. That side's brighter than the top bit. Uh, and this bit does bright, uh, light up as well when you break, but it's just um, dark, uh, the same color. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I kind of want to change today. And hopefully we'll be fixing this sort of unevenness because it's triggering my OCD at the moment. But yeah, so let's get into it. So obviously to access the tail light bulb, you just pull this hatch there and I don't know if you can see, but the bulb that we're looking to change is around there. So it's behind this wire, it's around there. So it should just twist out and uh, do as normal. So yeah, we'll get on with that. So the bulbs I bought weren't even the right one, but after fiddling about with the bulbs, they're the same brightness now. So now break, yeah, there's no discrepancy between each side. But now, but the the problem with these E53s is the tail light housing and the bowl, the springs in them, they're very loose. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive the car and if it comes loose, then I'll lose my brake. So I'm hopefully, I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that it doesn't bloody do that. But anyway. So guys, that 
was obviously working on the front end of the X5 and just improving it aesthetically. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a like. Uh, you know, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below what you want to see. There's going to be more stuff done to the X5. Don't worry about that. Uh, but for now, I've been Carmine Nab. Uh, take care, guys. Peace.